This is the Looking Glass portrait display, and you can use it to turn anything you have in Unreal Engine 5 into a hologram. Hey, I'm Jay, and this is the Looking Glass portrait display. If you don't know what this thing is, it's essentially like a little monitor that can display holographic images just in your house. You know, like Princess Leia style. It comes preloaded with several different ones and there are multiple ways that you can make these kinds of holographic images. So what's cool about it now is that you can connect it to Unreal Engine 5 and now you can make anything into a hologram. So like I said, there are a variety of ways to add and make holographic content. But for us CG people, the Unreal Engine and Blender plugins make it easy to turn your CG art into a three-dimensional display. And the setup to do that is pretty straightforward. Everything you need comes in the box. Alongside the display is a USB-C and HDMI cable. Connect those to your PC and set your display configuration to extend what your computer now sees as really an external monitor. Install the shiny new Unreal Engine 5 plugin, the Holoplay service, and you're ready to cook up some holograms. So after setting that up, I opened up my Flex project and I dropped in a Holoplay Capture Actor. You can adjust the size, position, and FOV of the capture to make the composition that you want. Then in the toolbar above the main viewport, you'll see a little hollow play button there. And once you click that, it will send your capture to the looking glass. So you can freely move around the actor, tune the size and FOV, and you'll see how it changes live in the display, which is pretty dope. So now Flex is a hologram. I will note that it is pretty slow when like moving around when I have it going to the looking glass. In my scene in particular, I need to turn off the hair because it is so dense being like curve based. I suspect uh, it slows down so much because essentially Unreal Engine's having to render everything in real time more than once now. I suspect it even has to do like multiple angles to go to the display. So who knows how many times it's rendering, but for me, I had to turn off the hair. So if you have anything expensive in your scene, uh, it would probably be best to turn it off while you're positioning everything and live feeding it to the display. That's not all though. We can also render video. So if you have animation in your scene or you want to like move things around in the background or in our case, move the camera, we can spice up our display by making things move around and make something that looks a little bit more dynamic. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move my camera back and forth to help make things look even more three dimensional. So to do this, we need a new level sequence for our scene. After I create my new sequence, I'm gonna add the Holoplay Capture Actor into the sequence so I can animate it rotating. You just need the Capture Actor if you're gonna do any animation. So I'm gonna add a transform track and then keyframe the rotation. So once we're ready to turn this into a video, in order for the sequencer to render out a quilt, you'll need to check the play in quilt mode and the lock in main viewport options. So you click the little three dots up at the top next to that Holoplay button. So to render out an image, this uses a format of images called quilts. Now a quilt is an array of images, one image for every angle of view in the display. And then so a video is just simply a series of quilt images that we can turn into a video file. So to render out the image sequence, it's pretty straightforward, but you do have to use the legacy render movie settings down here in the sequencer. So open up those settings and you just have to choose one of the new portrait presets you should have and then set your output path. And then you just have to hit capture movie. Once the render is finished, it should have spit out all the quilt images for your sequence. So now we have a bunch of images. To make this into a video, I just used Blender. I opened up a new project and set the output resolution to match my quilt images. So I added all the images into the timeline as an image sequence. And then I changed the output settings to be MPEG, MP4 is the encoder and perceived lossless quality. Then you can hit render animation and Blender will spit out a new MP4 video file that you can just drag into the Holoplay Studio, which will load this video onto the display. So now you can disconnect your looking glass display from your PC. So as long as it's plugged into power, it'll cycle through the things in your playlist that you have set up, or you can hit this button on the side and it'll pause for a still frame. 
And that is how I used Unreal Engine 5 with the looking glass portrait display. The setup, uh, pretty easy actually, and the results are pretty cool. Uh, definitely looks three dimensional when you're looking at it and the technology, you can even pick it up on camera. So it does look pretty cool. I will say you can tell that it's not very high resolution. Um, which isn't like the end of the world, but in my case, you could tell in particular with the hair strands, you know, I think there just isn't enough pixels in the quilt images, you know, to pick up like really fine things like that. But ultimately it's pretty cool. They do make this like ultimate mega 8k version, which does give me heart eyes, but, uh, the price is, you know, very much priced for like businesses and big installations and such. So maybe one day. But it is pretty cool if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself there is a link down below in my description which is an affiliate link uh, or you could go to their website lookingglassfactory.com if you're going to pick up one for yourself or if you already have one i also have a link down below to the flex videos that i made right here so if you wanted to try those out on your display you can get those too now if you're a cg artist yourself and you're up for the challenge uh and you're not a member of my discord already this month, as of when I posted this video, we're going to do a challenge and then the winner is going to get this looking glass display. They sent me two of them. So I'm going to ship this out to the winner of the challenge this month. And the winner will also give you like, I'll also give you like a seat to my chorus and my brushes and base mesh kits and stuff like that. So hopefully it's going to be a big, cool challenge this month. Uh, we're just going to have something that looks really cool in this display. You know, what I would like is the winner to eventually get this display and then put their work on it. So head over to the Discord for more details on that. If you're up for the challenge, join that and make something cool. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.